what in the world is his purpose in life? <laughs> I don't, I don't quite understand. <laughs> what is he, what's he supposed to do? What's he supposed to do? the heat of my non-air conditioned home. Yes, the air conditioner is still broken since Wednesday, Thursday, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's all a blur now. I mean, as to those following the saga, this is the third time in seven months that my H, it's an HVAC unit, so it's heat and air. So it went out when it was cold and now it's gone out twice since it's been hot. And we are literally, I'm looking at my temperature gauge, it's 110. So we have two little portable air conditioners running. Uh, one is running on one side of the house to keep the birds cool enough. The other one is running on the other side of the house to keep the guinea pigs cool enough. And um, guinea pigs aren't getting a whole lot of cooling, but we're doing ice bottles for them too. It's like, that's, that's always the stress for me is not just figuring out how to cool myself off, but the animals. So um, it's, it's like, I live for my animals. I sent the kids off to their dad's house, so they're good. So it's just me and the animals trying to keep cool. So I am meeting my good friend, Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas here because you know, we're both like, hey, wanna go do some shopping? <laughs> she said, and I quote, twist my arm. <laughs> so I did. So we're gonna try to hit two Goodwills this afternoon and see what we can find. So uh, she told me don't wait for her. So I'm gonna get in there and see what I can find. Ooh, there. I couldn't even see where I was going. That sun was so bright. Let's get in there. I am actually running through the toys first here. Something I normally save to last, but in this store, the way it's laid out, they're first. So, I figure, what the heck, I'm gonna give it a little look. A little look-see. That's a tree. It's like a tree with all these little critters. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Huh. But I like it. It's four bucks. I need to investigate this further. But I do like it. This guy is a Scentsy Buddy. And usually with flamingos, like the neck is like flopped over, but he's pretty solid still. So he's $1.99. Let me show you his tag. There's his little tag. Scentsy Buddy. So I know he was really expensive to begin with. So I'm sure he has some resale value now. Plus he's a flamingo. All right, let's look on this side. <laughs> and nothing is, well, I was gonna, you know, usually when I say that, something grabs my eye. He's a Kelly toy. He's not very high quality. He's better quality, but he's kind of boring. And then we have an Ikea robot. Who's kind of cool, but he's not really my, he's not really my vibe today. All right, I am gonna hit the little tchotchke shelves and I'm going to be very thorough while I am waiting for Tiffany because she is thorough. And so there's no rush for me. I'm trying to learn from her to be a little bit more thorough because I miss things. And I'm looking at, oh, the little welcome carrot is awful cute. But we're a ways away from that being a thing. These are like chalkware. Like nursery plaques. Oh, that one's really broken. Otherwise, they were really cute. 
Something I'd really have to sell in person though, because those are really also heavy, heavy. Ooh. Rachel could paint this, and I think she would like to paint this. So I'm gonna get this for Rachel as a painting project. And the reason I say she can paint it, because it's raw, it's not like, it doesn't have any glaze on it, so it will, it's paintable. I don't know, I'm probably not using the technical terms, but those of you who paint know what I'm talking about. It's like greenware, that's the word I was looking for. All right, I did spot these little, these little geisha girls. They kind of have a nice look to them. They are not marked on the bottom. They probably, well, no, that one has a sticker. It's, hmm. Let's see if she does. Nope, no sticker. I don't know. I'm going to pass on them. I could be wrong on that one, but I'm going to pass on them. I believe he is an Avon. I have had this guy before. I don't see him marked Avon, but he really reminds me of the one that I had that was an Avon. He's a nightlight. There's a little light supposed to go up in there. And you can see there's the little inset for the cord to come out. But he's not only missing his cord, he's, uh, he's not marked with anybody, so. We'll pass. She's nicely painted. Oh, she's uh, she holds, she holds like potpourri. What's that say? Fred Roberts. Oh, Fred Roberts, made in Japan. Hmm. Dollar ninety-nine. You know what? I don't know what Fred Roberts goes for. So this is one I will probably look up. All right, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna see if there's anything else on this shelf that needs a look up and then I'll just look it up all together. Now this is kind of heartbreaking. His tail and his beak are both broken. It's an Andrea by Sadek. Ooh, I'm gonna stick this in the cart for Tiffany because she just bought some bases for these little laser cutout things. Stick that over there. See if she's interested in that one. Oh, hello. You are very mid-century. You are marked USA with some numbers, and you are two ninety-nine. So yes, we'll pick you up. And I'm seeing. You know what? I saw a pair of these. I don't know if you guys watched the video, but I found a pair. But one of them was missing his little base, and I said I would probably pick those up. They were all together. Oh, these guys are a little rough. They're three dollars each. Again, you know what? I'm I'm torn because of the damage. Look how much damage is on that little guy's sombrero. So I think we are gonna pass on these guys, but they are cute. May you have all the happiness and luck that life can hold. And at the end of all your rainbows, may you find a pot of gold. That's sweet. I like it. Okay, nothing else on this shelf. I'm gonna go look those things up. So basically there's not a whole bunch of these available or sold, um, but basically I'm making my decision to put her back because there's like a much more detailed figurine only sold for 16 bucks. So that tells me it's not a super high-end brand. So we are gonna put this girl back on the shelf for someone else. And then I just pulled this off of the top shelf and I'm kind of debating if this damage is too much. It, I mean, it's got a lot of little paint chipping, but we do have a big Mayan kind of Aztec calendar sculpture down at the vintage market booth. And this would, this would accent it nicely. It's only five bucks. I think I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see if Rachel can touch up some of those little points there. I think it can be touched up. I'm gonna let her have her hand at it and let's see what we can do with it. Okay. See, it's really, really quiet in here. It's kind of weird. I'm not used to Goodwill's being quiet. 
there's like absolutely zero music on, which is, I love it, but yet it feels really awkward. Because <laughs> I have to talk low. Normally I'm kind of like speaking up and I'm not worrying about it too much. But, uh, let's move some things around here. We have a Volkswagen piece of art. This is pretty iridescent, but very new. Very new. Some craft eggs. Ooh, see, and when they call for help up front, it's really loud. Ooh, that's a clown. We don't like clowns. Nope, she left the speaker on. Uh-oh, hot mic, hot mic. Nope, oh, there she got it. That could be dangerous. All right, nothing there. Oh, there's another one of these mop dolls. Now, I have a couple of these that I keep meaning to get listed, and I don't. And they do okay, but the fact is, I already have some, and I haven't got the ones I have listed, so... Oh, there's two of them. I'm tempted, but uh, I think I'm going to leave these ones behind. The golden rule, keep mom happy and you're golden. Yes, that's exactly it. That is exactly it. Oh, that's, I thought that was going to be lightweight like a lacquer, but it's super heavy. So, all right, let's move over here. Etc. I have lots of etc. I like those though for organizing stuff, but would I use them? I probably wouldn't. I want to organize. I dream of organization. But it never happens. That's I don't even know what the color is today. I've got to figure out what the color is today. What are these? Oh. Uh, I don't see anything over here. I have two trips in a row. I found a Stuben and I found a big Orifer. So I am scanning this uh, crystal and clear glass because I'm sure there's more of it that got put out at the stores. And one of the ways you tell is look, you know, you're looking for a clarity in the glass. So that's the first kind of clue. You look for a like, see, when I looked at this, I saw, like, some thickness to it, and it's really crystal clear. I mean, that's where the term came from, crystal clear. Um, you want clarity, and then you just look at the quality and look for a signature. All right, what are these guys? They're kind of cute. But again, we are nowhere near, near Easter, so... Nowhere near Easter. Is this one of those? Oh, it is. It's one of those jelly, jelly things. Jelly, jelly. I want to find me some vintage um, pumpkin buckets now. I, uh, I watched uh, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. They did a shopping trip and she gave a really good lesson on the vintage buckets, which are very, very collectible. So, um, thank you for that, Alex, because I will be on the hunt now. I don't think they've... They have not brought out their Halloween yet. So I think the Halloween is coming. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I mean, she's like a year 2000. Happy New Year. 
tray thing, but she's pretty fantastic. <laughs> Who makes her? She's a Boston warehouse. Oh my gosh, she's only two dollars. <sighs> mm, she got a big chip. Gosh darn it. If she didn't have that chip, I'd probably take her home. I don't know what this guy's doing over here with the uh, electronics, but he's a hobbyist piece. He's a 1988 hobbyist piece. And they put the name Susie on it. If they didn't have the name Susie on there, I'd probably pick him up. But we're going to leave him because of that. All right. Let's hit the Christmas. Let's see what we got. That's kind of a cool tin. I'm not picking up any more tins right now, though. Ooh, that's super heavy. Holy moly, that's heavy. That's like a salt. It's like a brick. Oh, that's why it's so heavy. It's a real brick. <laughs> so it's like brick heavy. Yes. Let's see. I see some little elf guys in there. I don't know what their little purpose is, though. But we're going to leave them. Oh, what are you doing over here? You're supposed to be over there with the Halloween stuff. But you're not very exciting. These are interesting. Um, they're $15. I mean, they're cool, but I don't know if they're $15 cool. Hopefully they will be for someone. <laughs> Let's see. Cute little basket. Why is there so much Easter stuff? My goodness, there's a lot of Easter stuff. Give me a J. All right. Nothing exciting going on in the Christmas. All right. That's a little interesting piece to be mixed in with all these other bulbs. Hmm. <sighs> oh, he's kind of fun. Is he attached? Oh, he's he's attached. He's attached to something. Oh, he's attached to this wreath. That's what it is. Like you just showed up. <laughs> All right, now let the buying begin. <laughs> oh, everything is attached to everything. Oh, I do like those little trees. These would be good little display trees, don't you think? Yes. Okay, I think I'm going to pick these up for display. Tiffany just came over and fun sponged me. She found a big chip on the little mid-century tidbit tray. It's still, it's still great, though. I know, and it's only it's only three bucks, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm still going to get it. Hey, but I wanted your opinion on the Mayan, because I was thinking about your big Mayan sculpture down at the, the market, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's not. It's like a chalkware. Yeah. I thought maybe we could have oh, Rachel kind of fix it up. Yeah, she could touch it up. She yeah, could. okay, good. Like good, we're on the same we're on the same page. Yeah, I'm gonna get these two trees. Cause, believe it or not, we gotta start getting ready for Christmas. Okay, don't see anything else here. Is this one chipped? I don't I don't know if that one's chipped. I'm I'm thinking it might be. This is why it's good to shop with a friend because they can see things that you gloss over because you're excited to find them. I want to know what these dinner plates are. Have you? Oh, there they are. That's what they are. Okay, nothing, no, no other Christmas here. All right, we'll go down the little wood section. I've been doing really good in the wood section lately. 
Money doesn't buy happiness, but it does buy chocolate, which is kind of the same thing. Yes. What, what are you? What are you? 2020, little tykes. You're not old. Isn't that a kick that they're just making toys to look old now? It's kind of cute. But it's got a little broken latch. Hmm. A wood clip frame. Hmm. Uh, might be able to use that for something. I like it. I'm getting that for me. Oh, look at this guy sitting up here. Oh, can't miss that crack. Darn it. He was awful cute. Don't know who. He's modern, but he's cute. And he would have sold if he had not been all broken. And then there's a duck thing. Um, what in the world is his purpose in life? <laughs> I don't, I don't quite understand. <laughs> what is he, what's he supposed to do? What's he supposed to do? Is he a nutcracker? Ah, uh, he doesn't really. I mean, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. He's he's an odd bird. <laughs> I almost have to buy him just as a conversation starter. Of like, okay, what is he? He's not that old because he's got a modern sticker on him. How much is he? It's $3. I'm going to get him. This is kind of a nice... I don't even know what the color is. What's the color today? Do we have a color? This is like, like This has like a dual little latch system. And it's got I a... like the dovetailing. I do too. Yeah. It's nicely made. Oh, there it is. It's Ironwood Gourmet. <laughs> it's a food thing. Oh, it's a recipe box. Oh, might be worth a look up. All right, so I just looked this up, and this is a $30 to $35 recipe box for $5.99. So we will indeed grab that. Okay, we got some string art. Nothing exciting, though. Got a little, little Funko critter there. Little wood rocking horse. Coconut gorilla. Huh. Nothing exciting there. I know I can't leave you like that. You see a box that I don't, <laughs> I don't look at on camera, and then it's like, oh yeah, I gotta show them. There's, it's an empty box. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. That is a really nice copper tray. It's got that big scratch and dent there though, which is kind of a bummer. It's six bucks. Hmm. I'll get a second opinion. What do you think about this piece? And I couldn't decide whether it was old or Chinese. I think it is Gregorian copper that looks like the shape of the labels that they would have put on it. I do think it's older. I just don't know how much that little that scratch dent. and dent is going to... It's got a nice look to it, though. Mmm, decisions. You know what? I think I'm going to put it back. I think I'm going to put it back, but... Look it. Look what I found here. See this? Oh, I was hoping maybe it would have um, trays in it because I found us a little cash box and I was hoping that would be we need a, big cash a better box. cash box because we need a big cash box. Yes. But no, never mind. Never mind. It's 
kind of a cool basket. I mean, it's a newer, cheap basket, but it's cool. Okay. <laughs> Give me a tea. Did you see the big tea, Tiffany? Oh, right. Look at that. Yeah, so I can remember what my name's <laughs> Hey, some days, you know. Yep. Okay, it's cute. It's a nice vase that that little arrangement's in. Do we have a set of three mugs? Probably somewhere. Ooh. Oh, no, God, and this is why I tell you guys, gotta get your hands on it. As soon as you touch this thing, you can feel the cheapness. All right, that's an interesting project piece. Whoa, I kinda like it. <laughs> I, I kinda like it for 99 cents. Um, does that make me wacky? Yes, it does. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> That's a new piece. Okay. Lots of new stuff. And anything in... Oh, everybody's asking me for an update on my mushroom project. Now, because I am getting ready to move, I am not actually gonna make any mushrooms right now. But when we move, we have the most amazing backyard to adorn with the glass mushrooms. And then I'll be bringing some of them down to the, the, the market as well. But I'm super excited and uh, stay tuned because I promise I will make a video of me actually making the mushrooms and showing you the finished product. This piece has a nice look to it. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. It's not marked. It's really, really crazed. It's weird, I'm looking at these bigger pieces now that we really have a venue to sell them. But you still have to be careful because they take up space. They take up real estate. So it has to be something that you can get moved fairly quickly it's a ninja turtle shell no i'm not gonna pick it up i'm not that turtle crazy i mean i'm pretty turtle crazy but i do have my limits and that's one of them this is a pretty pattern i'm always interested in who makes the pretty patterns that's, oh, and I should probably show you. It's Empress China Debutante. Debutante. There we go. All right. And I don't see anything else in the dishes today. All right, let's see. We can find anything in the glasses. I have to keep my ears open that nobody's swearing in the background because with no music playing, it's gonna come through. And YouTube would not like that. Oh, nothing exciting here. These are kind of cute. Actually, these are really sweet, but. Can I get Donna to your register, please? Donna's being called to her register. You know what? Okay, just to have some fun. Who else spotted the other crackle glass? I know I spotted one. Where is it? Or is I seeing things? I could have sworn I spotted another crackle. Oh, you know what? They were clear. They weren't the same kind of crackle. Okay. I'm not going crazy then. I was going to match it up, but it did not have a friend. Okay, off to the mugs. Okay, let's see if anything calls to me from the mugs. 
born to shop. I had a fantastic suggestion from one of my viewers is that, uh, you know, some of you know that I have a playlist called Get Ship Done for my shipping videos. And now I'm going to start one called Get Shop Done. Because <laughs> it's just pretty perfect. So thank you, Bree, for that suggestion. I love it. I am going to use it. Well, since I still have not listed my Pampered Chef stuff, I can add this to the lot. Granted that it is a new piece. Looks, I don't know if it's ever been used or not. No, it looks new. It's clean. All right, so I'm going to grab that for $1.99. So I spot these Michael Goddard coasters. How many are there? There are... There's five, so there's one missing, but that's okay. Are they all different? They are. They're all different ones of his martini art, and I have the glasses also to list. So this would be a great thing to go with those. I sure wish there was six, but I will take five. Now Tiffany's over there just cha-chinging away. She's a cha-chingin' girl. Okay. These are made by Santa Barbara Ceramic Design, which is also a really good maker, and they're $4.99. You can see they were $22.50 many moons ago. But five bucks, great price. Oh, wait. That, oh, I thought maybe this was another Pampered Chef thing. It's butter sauce warmers. Then I saw Noah's Ark cookie cutters. I'm going to leave them. I am going to leave them behind. Let's see. What else we got here? Oh, that. Oh, I saw the price. I mean, it's Temptations. Oh. So someone has told the Goodwill pricers that Temptations is really good, but unfortunately they're pricing it at full online resale value. Nice piece, but $25, it's gonna, it's gonna sit here unless somebody wants that for personal use, which may or may not happen. All right. It's an interesting teapot. Oh, it's got that. That's kind of cool. I think it's a hobbyist piece. That's what it looks like. That looks like the cup on the bottom and a little teapot on the top kind of a thing. It's cute. But we will pass. This looks like maybe they came out of a restaurant. All these little salt and pepper. Oh, nope, they're spice jars. That's what it is. Rosemary. Italian seasoning. Huh. There we go. Always looking for the older spice jars. These are kind of cute. Sugar, coffee, and tea. And they're in Spanish. Oh, it's got a chip. I don't know who makes those, but they're very cute. And then there's this basket that's got a, it's got a ceramic lid. Oh, it's a serving, it's a serving dish. That's kind of cool. It's 10 bucks though. All right. I'm almost looking at stuff going like, what else could you do with that? Because it's, it's got a nice look to it. There, there's three separate little, I guess they're supposed to be jars. Yeah. They would have had something, but they stack. You know, you can even stack more. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I found another fun thing to get for the kids because we're homeschooling this year. 
it's half price so it's only three dollars for the potato chip science book and stuff i am always looking through this section for i find canvas for rachel i find i don't know different little things like i just found um, that oh, that's like a spirograph to knock off i'm aiming for these little foam owls Hmm. Hmm. What to do with those? Nope, nope, don't need them. I get tempted by so many things. It's a horrible, horrible sickness. But I don't want to be cured. Because <laughs> it's way too fun. I just have to learn a little discipline, which I'm doing. I'm doing it. It's going to be so awesome to move into a house with a thousand more square feet. I downsized when I moved into this house, so I'm, I'm upsizing again to where I can be comfortable again with all of my business operations and collections and such. We have a, a unicorn. Oh, it's a bath bomb. I was trying to figure out what the heck that was. That's what it was. And again, I have just mishmash shells where you can even get like a bathroom sink. I mean, honestly, the stuff that you can find at Goodwill is just mind boggling. If you wait long enough, you will find it. You will find it. Copper Creek. Oh, it's a doorknob. See? Got doorknobs. You got bathroom sink. She can remodel your home with stuff from a Goodwill. Oh boy. How about some cactus scene setters? Now you know I'm kind of digging these. And then my brain is going, what could I use this for? Because we could have a whole bunch of big old cactus. They're five feet tall, cactus. All right, they're a buck a piece. See, this is, this is how I get myself in trouble. I cannot resist. And there's this. <laughs> so he makes his sounds, but he doesn't flop anymore, unfortunately. What is she doing? What are you doing? Explain, Lucy. <laughs> Well, this is Bakelite, and if you rub the Bakelite and cause friction, which causes heat, it smells like formaldehyde. We were we were debating whether to buy this. It's thirty dollars. Buy it just for that hardware. But I can see where they were glued on. They'd be really hard to get off of here without damaging. Oh my God! That drawer won't even open. Here, let's get a drawer that'll open. Just a peek on the inside of. I mean, it's just two screws on that, but then these are glued, so the chances of breaking it is really high. It was a beautiful piece in its you day, know though. What, though. It's, I don't know if it is because it's yeah. moving. Oh, is it moving? You think it's just. I think it might oh, just be. Oh, it's not glued. It's hooked onto. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about just the hardware is worth, you know, the 30 bucks. And you've got what, one, two, three, four full sets, and then two without. Yeah. Well, maybe we should do a little look up what they're going for. So I was perusing through the textiles, of course, and I found six of these matching their pillow covers, and they're a really good size. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it'd be better for me to find the pillow. Um, forms to go inside and sell them as pillows or just sell them as the covers. I might investigate that and just see what to do. But I got six of them. They're all the same and it's $2.99 for a set of two. So basically $1.50 each. I really can't go wrong at that price. They're, well, I guess they're a little different. They got a little bit different birds on them. I'm just noticing. So they match but they're a little different. Okay, that's cool. That's even better. So I picked those up. 
Oh yes, I did grab a couple of little Christmas tablecloths too because I remember when Jordan and I were looking for a Christmas tablecloth last December and we waited until like December, we couldn't find one to save our lives. So, let me figure out where the checkout is in this place. We are heading out. Uh, okay. And we're going to go to another store, but you're going to have to see that on another video. So, oh, Tiffany just found me another set of the birds. So, yay. All right. So we're going to add two more birds to that. Okay. See you in a minute. So I found out that Tiffany actually shopped this store two days ago. So I'm pretty happy about finding the things I did. I blah, blah, blah. <laughs> finding the things that I did um, because honestly, I, I I need to be a little better about. I know I, I feel like I say this every time, and some of you are very aware that I say this every time. But I I, I am. You guys are on a journey with me to be more discriminating to be more careful about what I'm putting in my cart because I do have a tendency to get things that I don't really need. I've done it my whole life though. So it's a really hard habit to break because in my brain I'm like, oh, I could do this with that and I could do that with that and, 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 and then I don't end up doing it. So telling myself I either have to do it or I have to whatever it is, or I have to stop buying the stuff thinking that I'm gonna do it. Did any of that make sense? I hope it did. <laughs> All right, I am, we are on to another store. It is my home base store, and I haven't been there for a long time. So, hoping that it's filled with goodies for both of us. So uh, you'll see that on the next video. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the little bell notification. And we'll see you over there where we'll go get shop done. <laughs> All right, go be profitable and make it fun. <laughs> 